Oh my god, I can't believe that I'm going to do this video. <laughs> Still can't believe it. Jesus. What's up, guys? My name is Tom. Welcome back to another video. And today, silly season has officially started before we having any races in, in this year because Sebastian Vettel is out of Ferrari at the end of this year. And yes, yeah, silly season starts with a huge bombshell. And I still can't believe that Vettel is out of Ferrari at the end of this year. This is a bit insane. I wasn't expecting. Um, to get this news today. There were some rumors that Vettel actually was in some negotiation with Ferrari but I wasn't expected that negotiations fail and uh, he's going to be out of the team. I'm still a little bit in shock, I'm not gonna lie, but this is going to spice really things up when it comes to the F1 driver market. Oh boy, we are here for an absolute treat of a silly season. So make sure to smash like and subscribe and if you see plenty more F1 news and my opinion content. If you do that, I would be very thankful and make sure to share this video because it really helps me out. So we we are here in the F1 website and uh, it says here Sebastian Vettel to leave Ferrari at the end of the 2020 F1 season team confirmed. So this is not a joke, it's going to be a, a, a thing and uh, um, we're going to read the, uh, the most important uh, most important things um, of this news um, to get uh, my opinion what, uh, what is the future for Vettel and for Ferrari and uh, make sure to leave on the comments see your prediction as well. Vettel and Ferrari have been talked for several months about an extension with team principal Mattia Benotto saying the full-time world champion was his number one choice to race alongside Charles Leclerc this year. But I think the thing that made fail these negotiations was Charles Leclerc. I think everyone knows that Charles Leclerc outscored Vettel um, this season, uh, in the 2019 season I should say, and Ferrari started to give some priority to Charles Leclerc because he has a bright future, he's very young, while Sebastian Vettel has been, hasn't been performing very well since the second half of the 2018 season, he's starting to get a little bit old, which is not a thing that I totally agree because um, I think he has some more to give in the, these next few years, I think he's not over yet. But we can clearly see that over the course of the 2019 season, we can see that Ferrari started to build a team around Charles Leclerc and on Sebastian Vettel that used to be with him when he was alongside Kimi Raikkonen. So I think this was a key factor to Vettel leave Ferrari because uh, the team wasn't built a car around him and it was building more around Charles Leclerc and uh, maybe who knows the 2019 Ferrari car was more of a Charles Leclerc style because it was built more around the, uh, the Monegasque. So I think this is the main reason why Vettel is going to be out of the Prime Singles this year. Like I say that uh, Ferrari Vettel duo failed because the objective was win the championship but uh, that didn't happen, they tried with Alonso, didn't happen, they tried with Vettel, didn't happen, maybe who knows now with Charles Leclerc, thing can happen, but uh, Ferrari is in a huge crisis at the moment, in my opinion. Ferrari needs to change and this need to, it's not a change here that we're going to say goodbye to Marisa Riverbend and then say hello to Mattia Bonotto. When I'm saying changes, they need like a reboot. I'm going to give you an example. Let's suppose that I'm a Formula One mechanic, and it for me is it would be impossible to work for Ferrari for one simple reason. I'm Portuguese and I'm not Italian. I can tell that 80% of the Ferrari mechanics, or even more, are Italians, and I think it would be really, really good to Ferrari. I'm having more mechanics from different nationalities. Look at Mercedes, they have so many nationalities in that team. I'm not saying that is the key factor, having um, a lot of different people in the, in the world, but maybe that's one um, of the few examples. And in my opinion, Vettel and Alonso weren't the answer for Ferrari. I think what Ferrari needs is a reboot in their headquarters. And Vettel, I think he didn't want to be a second driver in the 2021 season. He really wants to battle for the championship and I think the position of a second driver wouldn't help at all. Because like I said, the team would be more around of Charles Leclerc and that would be clearly a disadvantage. They had some opportunities like in 2017 and 2018, but it wasn't enough. In 2018, I can blame Vettel. Yes, he made some stupid mistakes. 2015, there was some hope. In 2016, it was an absolute disaster. In 2017, uh, and Ferrari was a little bit below Mercedes. They won a race here then and they could have battled for the championship. In 2018, was the same thing, but now Ferrari, in my opinion, was the best car. And in 2019, was a disaster. Despite winning some races, so it wasn't that bad like in 2016, but definitely it wasn't enough to battle Mercedes. Mercedes was absolutely unmatchable and in the first seven races. So these are my reasons why Vettel left Ferrari. So now here comes the question, what is the future for this man? And for Ferrari. From my point of view, life for Vettel is not looking good at the moment. I'm not seeing any options for this man and uh, that really wor worries me about. But let's go to my bet to Vettel. And we're starting to the big guns Mercedes. You know, it would be very good for Mercedes having a German because it would be um, an advantage when it comes to marketing. It would be 
maybe a factor to get the German Grand Prix back, you know, a German team, a German driver. Remember that Mercedes had German drivers in their first year in the comeback on Formula 1 in 2010. They had Michael Schumacher and Nico Rosberg, two German drivers. But I think Vettel at Mercedes would be a very good option, but uh, who would Mercedes sacrifice? Let's start with Lewis Hamilton, shall we? I think Hamilton is going to stay a Mercedes, let's be honest. He's in great shape, he's in the best phase of his career, he's so good with Mercedes. The relationship with them is actually is some negotiations, so who knows that things can change. But I think this man is going to stay at Mercedes at the end of his career. If Mercedes stay on the spot for a few more years. So I think he wouldn't replace Lewis. Now we're going to talk about Bottas. If Mercedes drop Bottas in favor of Vettel, that would be not very healthy when it comes to intra-team battle. Because we're talking about two big guns, that is Hamilton and Vettel. Imagine having these two guys battling for the championship, which I think it would be, uh, you know, a thing that I wouldn't be surprised. And I think we would have uh, so much friction, and I think Mercedes doesn't want friction. I think they already had enough between uh, Hamilton and Rosberg, and I think Mercedes um, is very clear about the rules when it comes to drivers. They have a first driver and a second driver, Hamilton and Bottas respectively, in a way to not make uh, um, a crash like it happened in Spain. So I think Mercedes... He's a good option for Vettel because of his nationality, that can help in the brand's marketing, but um, the drivers um, are really a condition of, um, to Sebastian, so I think Mercedes, despite the advantages, um, I think he's not a good option for this man, but who knows, everything can happen, and let's go to the second team, that is uh, his own uh, team, Red Bull. I don't know why the hell I said own team. Like, Red Bull is from Austria, Vettel is from Germany, that didn't make any sense. We all know that Vettel won all the his four championships with Red Bull between the 2010 and the 2013 season, but then he stayed with in the 2014 season and with Henry Ricard when things dropped and decided to go to Ferrari. But I think it would be really, really hard to um, Vettel um, get back to Red Bull. They had good times, yes, but uh, I think it's over the relationship with Vettel and Red Bull. It would be really nice who knows that uh, is the right team for him. But there's a driver that would be a really condition that is Max Verstappen. Not uh, because he's faster than Vettel, but because of the driver positioning, he would be the, the driver number one. We all know that Verstappen is the number one driver, the team is around him. What Vettel wants is win the championship with a different team and for that he, he can't be the second driver because if he's in the situation battling with his teammates, um, probably he wouldn't let him go um, and the team would build a car around, around the, the, his teammate and the car would be like uh, his, his taste 100% um, like I said in Mercedes and the, uh, Ferrari so um, the, dr the driver positioning I can say first or second driver is a key factor for Vettel's future there's a lot of lot of rumors saying that Carlos Sainz can go um, to Ferrari and he can switch places with Vettel and Vettel can go to McLaren which it wouldn't be bad at all but it would be really really risky because we know that McLaren it isn't the top team is in the midfield, but uh, it would be really good to uh, see Vettel in the midfield battling with the youngsters. It would be good, but I think it's not. Uh, I think it's uh, a thing that uh, Vettel doesn't want. He, he wants to be in the front, but uh, I think it would be really good McLaren to Vettel. I think the team would put him in, in first place against Norris. So by now, uh, McLaren seems the best option to the German. And the Formula One side says this: it's a move that could make sense. McLaren are busy rebuilding and try to work their way back towards the front of the grid. After a spell of midfield wildness um, of having a multiple world champion in the team, who knows that it takes to win could be a helpful ingredient. You will be uh, make a good foil of a young Charger and Norris in another car. So like I said, um, it will be a really good thing to McLaren having a very experienced driver. It didn't work out with Alonso, but who knows, can uh, work with Vettel. And it would be really interesting to see Vettel fighting his way on the midfield and maybe show more that he could do because at the moment he has so much hate, um, which makes me sad because a lot of people forget his brilliant driver, the 2008 Italian Grand Prix and the 2012 um, Brazilian Grand Prix. Everyone forgets that and uh, keeps giving a, uh, giving him aid because of his spins, of his mistakes, but everyone does mistakes. He wins the Singapore Grand Prix in the 2019, um, yeah, everyone congratulating on that, but when he makes a little spin, everyone's starting to throw rocks at him and uh, that's really that's really upsetting. Another alternative would be Renault, um, for the same reasons of uh, McLaren and it would be Ricardo going to Ferrari and like I said it it's a midfield team it would be good to Vettel um, fighting 
the midfield team is a motherfucking team and that would help Breno to fight uh, their way to the top like McLaren so um, that's not much to say, it's the same thing as McLaren when it comes to Breno and finally a very unusual bet which I think is not going to happen but uh, it makes a bit of sense that is Aston Martin that is going to be in the 2021 season however this is really really risky but that would mean that Sergio Perez would go to Ferrari and remember that Sergio Perez was really really close to go to Ferrari um, at the end of the 2012 season after the uh, brilliant results with Sauber. He's the same Sauber in 2020, I'm feeling so old right now. But like I said, this would be really risky. What if Aston Martin doesn't work? They have a crap engine, the car sucks, despite they have uh, um, all money in the world. I think Vettel would have a lot to lose if he chose Aston Martin because uh, they are not going to be at the top, probably who knows, they are going to be um, in the low midfield, I can say, and uh, Vettel doesn't want that. But yeah, the future is uncertain, and uh, I'm really curious to see what is going to happen in these next few months, next few weeks. Vettel is out, a lot of alternatives, and uh, a lot of people can gain because they can go to Ferrari. We have Ricardo, Sainz, Perez, and Hamilton that can go to Ferrari, and who knows Bottas as well. But yeah, this came like a bombshell, and uh, I wasn't expecting that. Um, I was expecting Vettel um, saying goodbye to Ferrari. Maybe in the next year or in the next two years, I wasn't expecting to say goodbye to Ferrari, um, you know, at the end of, of 2020. And uh, yeah, I'm sad because it's an end of an era that unfortunately failed. Um, who knows that can win the championship in 2020? That would be crazy, but uh, um, yeah, at the moment is a relationship that is failing and uh, that gets me sad. And I think the fault here is not Vettel, um, yes it is a little bit because they, he had the car in 2018 and uh, he made some stupid mistakes, to be honest, but everyone does mistakes, but in the other years I've, um, it was Ferrari's fault and uh, Ferrari needs a reboot in my opinion. I know maybe you guys are disagreeing, not going to give it, but uh, remember this is my opinion and make sure to write in the comments your opinion, it would be really nice to see your, your point of perspective. This silly season is going to be a banger, so stay tuned for more F1 news, I'll see if I every time I don't promise, but uh, yeah. Um, I'm really excited to see what is going to happen in the next few weeks, months, like I said. But guys, that has been the video. Make sure to smash like and subscribe and if new team plenty more Formula 1 content. It really motivates me to make more. And I'll see you guys for a brand new video next time. But for now, it's goodbye.